Okay, just can you just read this in your best anime voice acting voice? Okay, eh? okay. Go. I'm not gonna read that. Come on, please. Dad. You can no. You, I'm not gonna read that. Come, come on. Ha come ha on. ha! What, what, evil laugh. You can't stop my platinum c Mario. I'm the King Koopa. <laughs> okay, so that this is this is. I'd be a little bit worried for your your career in voice acting if you weren't. <laughs> That didn't, I, that just didn't bro, seem like, I would not. Oh, well, no, it just didn't seem like there was much, like, like. <laughs> you, really you can't stop my platinum c Mario. <laughs> I'm the King Koopa. <laughs> f you. F you. No, that was really good. That was really good. I Thank think you. you Thank hired you. A mirror. Yeah. I think you should take that in. And, and, like, even if they give you, like, lines to say beforehand, you should be like, you'd be like, well, actually, I actually wrote. Here's a, a script I'm working on <laughs> that I think I should really read. I think this would be really. Yeah. Something I've been working on. Really good. Okay, let me let me see if I can give a go at it, if that's all right, before we... Oh, yeah, go for it, go for it. <laughs> you can't stop my platinum, Mario. I'm the King Koopa. Is that good? <laughs> that's okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like mine was better enunciated and all that. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. Basically, every sense Well, can I just hear the way you said it again, because I kind of forget. No, well, maybe Tucker could give his impersonation. Oh, Tucker, would no, you? No, no, no. Would you give I'm it? No star. Tucker, come on, Tucker. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. You want me to read this line? I, I want you to read that line. I'm your, you know what? I'm your boss. I want you to read that fucking line, okay, okay, bitch. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me get in my head a couple times here. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> you can't stop my platinum c Mario! I'm the King Koopa! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, I think wow. that about wraps it up, guys. Why did the chicken cross the road? Okay, am I guessing or am I? Or do I say oh, no, no, no. It, I'm a, I'm about to say it. Me... So now I'm not guessing. I say why. No, you're not guessing anymore. Yeah. Okay. What was so the say point of the entire previous exercise? So, <laughs> <laughs> what was the point of that whole so thing why, we were doing okay. before? <laughs> I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart the joke. <laughs> why did the chicken cross the road? This is so stupid. <laughs> Why? This is so dumb. Oh, but I, I, I love it though. Because. Okay. This sounds like a chicken. Curtis, you can be mean to him right now if you want. <laughs> you can be mean. No, no, that was awesome. I'm. It was funny. That was good, right? I have actually never heard that one. That is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Dude, come on. We got to do this. <laughs> what? We, we, what? We, What's wrong? We're, What's wrong? We're, we're, I, I'm doing Someone all this Someone laughed work. at that. Someone I laughed at that. I do all this work to figure out a proper time with Curtis. I've scheduled him to do the podcast. He's here now, and you're coming in with this shit right now. I you're coming just, in with this I, shit. I thought it was. I thought I'm that was to pick good. His beautiful mind. I thought that was to a figure good joke. Out what makes it him was, tick? I thought that was a good joke. <laughs> It was, it was good. The only way it would have been better is if you're holding your mic just a little better. But other than that, <laughs> there you it go. Was, uh, it you was gotcha. okay. There I'll you retell go. it. Uh, yeah, right, like, I'm gonna like start over. A, Ready? Like it's a <laughs> cup of hot chocolate. Yeah. Can I show you what I got for Christmas, Ted? Yeah, you can show me what you got. Is it a gun? I mean, no, my parents got this for me. Tell me what the fuck this is. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> do you know what it is like it looks like a door stop <laughs> audio listeners love you to death that's showing like this cat that's like doing a big stretch you know where the cat is at and you know, oh, big stretch. it's like what tail the is the size of an empire state building and <laughs> looks like a bookend yeah <laughs> For the largest, okay. <laughs> you still, so that started jerking off the tail. I got it for Christmas. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It is it a? It looks like a doorstop. It could be a doorstop, right? Don't think it's a debt. I don't think it's a doorstop. What, what is it? Did they tell you what it know. is? No, no, no. They told you what it is. 
You opened it and they just stayed silent. They were like, we hope you like it, honey. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now? Okay, it's not that funny. <laughs> Are you done? You, 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 you quite finished there, <laughs> lad? Did they know how much of a kick you would get out of how phallic <laughs> that cat's tail is? Yeah, no, I think that's funny. I think I think that's funny. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> Dude, stop meowing. Oh, my God. Uh, Lima from Louisiana uh, said, I'm a strict audio chuckler, and because I'm a strict audio listener, I was wondering if y'all could describe y'all's appearance since we only have a voice and a vague hint <laughs> to what you look like. Thanks. <laughs> what? Wait, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That can't. This can't be real. That can't, no, no it's, it's, there's it's no so shot easily solved by a there's Google no. search. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, that man. though. I like. I like that concept. Describe us. All right. Well, let's. We could describe each other. Sure. Sure. Schlatt, you want to go for me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Lima from Louisiana. Um, Ted is. Rather skeletal man. He stands about six foot five inches in the air. His face is like the third option in the me maker. You know that long one with the pointy chin and the rather squared off forehead. Okay. His hair is probably the probably the sixteenth option in the me maker. The one with the little swoop around. His eyes. Okay. Are the second option. <laughs> His nose, oh man, it's that fucking huge one that you put on on the Squidward me <laughs> that you're making. When you're making the you're breaking the boundaries and making the yeah. custom me. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the option with that circle with the arrows pointing all out. Yeah, yeah. that's that's how you get Ted's nose. Um, and that's about it. I mean, if he, he's white. He's white. I'm white. He, he's a white guy. Um, it's true. He's 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 pretty lean, I'd say. Lives in Los Angeles. I do, but I'm sure you could have you could have ascertained that by the way he is, and I'm sure that fact even is you're more telling this, than anything like, I've ever so said. Poetically, you're the way you're speaking. You're like doing an. Mm. Why are you doing like an audio book right now? <laughs> <laughs> audio book narration. You're like. His hair nestled upon his head is uh, selection three <laughs> in the We Me Maker. So Q-Box from mm. Washington State wants to know when the hell the fishing episode is coming, where Chuckle Sandwich goes out on the water on a boat and shoots the shit and intermittently catches fish. That sounds... Okay, here's the thing. I actually have a theory right now, and I don't know if this is true, but I think that this is a fake question. What? No, that's not I fake. I think that this is a fake question because Tucker has recently gotten into fishing. Oh. And it's very curious how a fishing question that mm. would require mm. a little the chucklers to oh. go out onto the water and start curious. fishing for a couple hours. I do select would, the questions, but why would I why would I say it's from Q Box? I think you're <laughs> just I think you're making shit up. You're just like I think you saw a Q bone. Pokemon, because you're a Pokemon fan, and then you put up, you changed the bone into box, and then you made up the question, and then now you're trying to get us to go on out into the water and start fishing because we're so fucking obsessed with fishing. What Tucker's like, I need yourself, a name. Tucker? Tucker's like, I need a name, and he looks at his keyboard, sees the first letter Q. Uh, he looks around, oh, box. <laughs> Tucker, what do you have to fucking say for air. yourself? I, I really, I, that someone really requested that. Uh, you can believe what you want. I know in my heart. What happened? But heart it's, heart a heart it's, a, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. I guess at the very uh, least, I would be Tucker there saw fishing. with a 30-pack in each hand, ready to rock, wow. and it'd probably be the greatest trip ever. I Honestly, I mean, thinking literally about it, that would be kind of a pretty funny episode where we get out on the water, and it's like we're all in Like, just the, like, if, like, imagine this. Like, we, we find a lake, 
And we get out onto a boat with all the fucking equipment hooked up to batteries and all that. And like we're lobbed up or whatever. And then there's a camera on the shore kind of zoomed in on us. <laughs> and like it's just like far away like recording of our voices talking so you can just like like almost like from a view of like just someone watching us from the shore and knowing what we're saying that would be kind of funny that would be funny yeah I'm, think- I'm gonna say no i'm not gonna go fishing if i'm getting on a boat there better be 20 big ass women on it and there better not be a single fishing rod in sight okay and, what are you 16 and- <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't fish. What the fuck is that? Fish? I go to I go to so the fuck true. I go to the fucking so grocery that's store. The I go to H E B perspective on women I've ever heard. Dude, that's so funny. Dude. Tucker got you so good just then, Schlatt. I listen to be I, a bunch of big ass women on that boat. <laughs> what are you what are, it's like you just learned what porn hub is and it's like, listen, it's like <laughs> Look, man. It's like once a big yacht just piles of money all over the place well, and, and well, like dude, who, who the fuck wouldn't want that? Who the fuck wouldn't? Wants, I didn't even want let's hot. go out on the water and fish. What the fuck he is w- there to do? You, you just sit there, wait for a fucking bite? Schlatt wants boobs and butts, piles of money, and a bunch of root beer, and he'll be happy. And maybe a fucking, the newest Transformers movie, too, on a giant projector, and then he'll be happy. I would be! I would be! I hate birds just as much, though. You know that uh, they, you know that they're causing the egg prices to skyrocket? Birds? birds? Yeah, the avian flu. What they do is they'll, you know, you know, you know, like chicken factories? Oh, I know chicken factories. Yeah, millions of chickens in those those little buildings. Making me. They line them all up. They nuggets, have them. Yeah. Well, yeah. They turn them into juice. Oh. They'll lay eggs sometimes. Sometimes They're if, turning them if into a bird juice? will. Yeah. Well, sometimes a bird shits and the shit gets blown by the wind into the factory. Right. And then that shit has avian flu on it. Oh, okay. And if one chicken gets avian flu, they have to kill all of them. What? So, yeah. Did you not know this? They have to kill. It's it's this FDA Whoa. standards. One chicken gets see, avian if, flu. This would be a they great detect it. See, this would be a great point to get Tucker here because he could give us a number on the total amount of ch- like how off like what number of chicken are getting killed here. I, I I listened to a podcast. I listened to a podcast on this the other day, and I was like, "What? They have to kill all the chickens?" Listen to this. Since early 2022. More than 49 million birds in 46 states have either died as a result of bird flu virus or have been killed due to exposure to infected birds. 49 million. They heat it. They heat the thing up to astronomical levels and it kills all the chicken and it kills all the bacterium. Schlatt, you still there? Did you, did you lose connection? Or are you just holding that pose extremely well? Ted, you're 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 stuck with a with your mouth agape. Your mouth is a. Can you stop it? Ted, your mouth is agape. Okay, you've definitely lost connection because the 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 skill at which it would require to hold this pose for as long as you're holding it right now, it, it would just be astronomical. It would be an insane amount of skill and composure and core strength. Well, Chucklers, it is my duty now that Ted has departed us. Rest in peace. Everybody say rest in peace, Ted. Gone too soon. I mean, he was. He was. Uh, It is my duty to continue the podcast, and I will, just by myself. So I've got two cats over there. Hey, don't be fucking jambo. Come on. All right, I'm back. Listen. If you get the shit kicked out of you, I'm going to be the first one to call you and be like, hey, bud. I, I Yeah, and you will be still wrong because... Uh, just like Jarvis is on the ground. It's like all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden he reaches ring, into ring, it. Like, like there's like a Why phone. Why did he have his like phone? Glove. Yeah. It's like it's answering a phone and it's like... Um, like he, what did he, I tell you? Know, yes, yeah, inside the boxing glove. <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, like he's answering like a phone like this. <laughs> yeah. You want to explain this to me? What is that? What is going on? How did you, how did you get that? What yeah, that? yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What? He's in big trouble. He's in big freaking trouble. 
Your iPhone initiated emergency SOS <laughs> at 2.52 so p.m.? We found, uh, we were at, I was, Tucker had just come to my apartment, and what we found fuck? another phone in my apartment. What? Where was this? It was in my couch. This was in your couch? Yeah. How did it get there? What do you think the um, the hardest portion, or at least a portion in the training process where you were the most like, oh, maybe I should like, maybe I should kind of oh, dude. cut my losses and-, and, and I, I'll tell you what. I always, whenever I say I'll tell you what, I feel like Hank Hill. <laughs> <laughs> tell you I'll what. tell you what. <laughs> I can't even do one. Um, it was honestly a couple months ago where I had, I injured my back and it wasn't like a big injury, but it, I started going to physical therapy for it to make sure that I could get back to training at a high intensity. And there's still mm -hmm. a slight concern that I'm going to have some sort of issue during training. My name is Tim. I'm calling three, five by 10 climate control. So we're just touching base to see if you have any questions, any concerns before you complete your rentals. You can reach us at any questions or concerns that you may have, and you'll be more than happy to assist you. You enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be safe. Bye-bye. Are you done? That, are we just going to move past that? Yeah. Okay. Best we do. All right. What are you doing right now? He's emptying his heart out to us. You're taking voicemails? I just needed to make sure that my three storage units were rented. It's, impo it's important. <laughs> Temperature what, 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 what were we just talking about? Drive up access. Oh. You drive right up to him. Put cool. the car in. Tucker, do raccoons have hands? It sounds like they have hands. But, really? they, don't have, but they don't have thumbs. There's a difference between mean? wild rats and well, the opposable thumb rats. was a big deal. They're just they, there's they're a difference just, between wild rats and they can grab like domesticated with them. rats. Yeah, that's what or, I think we need to like of, because yeah. I I know where you're going with this and I feel you like you don't like that guy. No, why that shouldn't exist? Why that is a beast? It looks like he, that is a beast. <laughs> I mean, with the photo that you're showing right now, it looks like he's casting a spell. So I think that <laughs> yeah. this is probably the least like convincing or he's about to get out of raccoon you cannot you can show me a picture of a raccoon and i will say oh, okay i kind of understand it's kind of cute raccoons no. i feel like are kind of close to cats no 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 one is cute and and lovable and it will be your best friend and the other is a fucking beast that i will swerve and go out of my way to run over on the street i feel like you just described a cat from two different so, yeah. perspectives. <laughs> let me let me read this description, Tucker. So, raccoons have remarkably sensitive hands with five long tapered fingers and long nails. They lack thumbs, so can't grasp objects with one hand the way we can. Uh, but they use both four paws together to lift and then acutely manipulate objects. That's so pretty close, but just like yeah, they can't like they, a raccoon couldn't do this. But a raccoon could do this. Yeah, oh, like yeah. a rac like maybe if a raccoon went like that, they could do that. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Cause that's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, thumbs are important. Well, no, it's got <laughs> five. It has five. It, there's just no like opposable nature of the fifth one. So they all they all bend just, like this. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it could it could grab a ball probably with one hand. No, no. It's saying that they it can't grab objects with with one hand. No, I bet that thing could. <laughs> Tucker, can we get a photo of a uh, raccoon grasping a ball with one hand? <laughs> and. Please don't use AI to generate it from yeah. nothing. <laughs> I could probably train one of these things real good. Yeah, exactly. Which is so funny. No, it's terrifying. You could have it do deeds. It's terrifying. Just grab it sounds beer. like you're like, I could train it, but I'm not going to like it. Like You sound yeah. like you're going to do it even though you don't it's want to. It's terrifying that these things roam our streets. I love them. That shouldn't be allowed. Uh, I love them. Are you What's calling your... for an execution of, ra of raccoons? We get, or? we get bobcats roaming mm. around Austin. I feel There's like bobcats, bobcats are everywhere. Leopards and... Coyotes. I don't know about leopards. Coyotes too. Uh huh. There's coyotes. There was a coyote That's in my the driveway. That's get. Look at that guy. That doesn't look. That looks like a Photoshop. Look at him. Of that raccoon carrying the peanut butter. But go, he's not. I mean, go to the third one. This. Yeah. So he's holding that with. One that is okay. So that doesn't seem like a realistic <laughs> photo of a raccoon. I mean, I I swear that I. have Look at that one. The person grabbing it. Yeah, took <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one's but a you, but a child. Are you saying terrible? Are you saying that if 
one of these yeah. was in your house, it, you would kill it. Yes, 100%. At the very least, I would grab it and squeeze it and try and pop it. That's the least and thing you would do? If that didn't work, I would just throw it out. I don't want to, like, throw bash its it skull in. But... It's I, it, it seems like they your conception of, of least to most is kind of flipped. It's just a shame they don't yeah. make the glue traps for that. <laughs> I mean, so I don't think that was really a limit how... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you were like a little stinky at the streamer awards this okay, year. Okay. You were a little... Like, there was like this, oh, uh, this smell no, that was coming that, off that of you. That would have been me. There was, the, <laughs> there was the stinky shirt saga. Um, have you heard about this? No. I bought a... I want to know what you think about this, Schlatt. Okay. I bought a outfit for the streamer awards i spent seven thousand dollars on it okay you spent seven thousand yeah, dollars on that shirt dollars on, no not the shirt only the pant the sparkly pants were i think three thousand dollars and the shoes were tw two thousand and then the mm. shirt was like eight or nine hundred dollars well, that's, that's the a, fact that you're inserting the word only into that sentence blows my mind what do you mean you said it was only T ted you're you must be new to this world buddy that's an average spend Mm. I think on a, on a, a one outfit? An outfit. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so I I buy this I buy this outfit. Okay, that's like double my whole ward, wardrobe. Well, yeah, <laughs> no. Look, it was the most I've ever spent on an outfit for the okay. Record. So Sorry, I'm not trying to rich shame you. No, no, I don't, you can't rich shame me. It's like, it's like I can stink shame. That's you. like white shaming me. It's like you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. So I buy this outfit. Seven thousand bucks. The shirt I try it on. It smells like bo. Mm. <laughs> what? You don't like you don't, bro. You <laughs> you don't like. You look like a mannequin. Are you kidding me? Gap. I look good. What the fuck? Don't let. What shot. is that facial expression? Well, that was that. that what was, is that? I wasn't taking a photo. This was this was like a candid <laughs> moment in an interview. Looks like a. Face up yourself in real life. No, that was. I had makeup on. Too. Looks like an avant-garde Dolce and Gabbana advertisement. I had makeup on. But you see that sparkly God, shirt? This is the shirt in question, okay? Yeah, I do. I, I yeah, get a little zoom on that yeah, uh, Tucker in, there. Take a look like at that. So this, so I'll tell you. So I put it on. It <laughs> smelled like so BO, shocked. right? And we, 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 we bought it the day before the Streamer Awards. And I say, hey, look, I'll buy this shirt, but it reeks of BO. So some fucking animal tried this. Some beast. Some beast. Tried this shirt on, and they reeked. Uh, jeez. And they reeked. And that left a smell on the shirt. So I said, I'll buy it, but you got to have it dry clean t tonight. And you told this to the people at the place? Yes. And I'll pick it up the next day. Well, I come to pick it up the next day. It fucking still reeks of BO. My God. Okay. So they're like, we can fix it. So they douse it in like industrial, so many industrialized cleaners, chemicals, and they get rid of the smell. Mm. But you at know an when, atomic level. Yes. But you know when you get rid of a smell and you know the smell is going to come back, like the natural scent of whatever it is, you can only mask something for so long. Well... This shirt, it masked it for a minute, but during the stream rewards, it started to come back. Ah, man. And I was pissed. I'm a gay guy. I don't really like women as much. Uh, it's not really my thing. Mm -hmm. In case you, but just, you just don't like women in general, or like just. No, I mean, you know, I like women platonically. What do you feel? How do you feel about like women being in positions of power, like in politics? You know, I, I think we could do without it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Of course, I think women are power. Women, I love women. I love powerful women. It's a very sexy thing to me. Not like sexy, sexual. It's just like a s like you're, Shiv Roy. You're from all succession. over the place, right, bitch? Am I? How many uh, tampons do you think a woman uses a day during their period? That is something that I have no idea. That is something that that's yeah. A I just world want, I want you I to even, guess. I just want you to. guess. I don't even live in that world. I know, yeah. which is why I think it would be which funny is if you wild, guess. Like I for, obviously, women have periods and it's beautiful, right? Well, that wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the question of whether or it's not beautiful. they existed. No, but it's like they, do you believe in the existence of periods? <laughs> I do. I really okay. do, and it's beautiful. It's good. Okay. It's everybody. It's it's so gorgeous. I'm not asking you to tell me that periods are gorgeous. It's they're natural. they're bleeding out of the crotches. Yeah, but, but it's like, natural and beautiful. Okay, but how many uh, tampons do you think they use a day? I don't know. I'd, I'd say maybe two to three. Okay. Is that right? 
But he's not going to. How tell the fuck you. do I know? I'm a dude. Well, I know, but you've been. You with know, women before. you know. That's why you asked. Yeah, you I have know a general that's why idea. You asked. I have a general idea, but I like to keep it in the air. Obviously, I know women have periods, right? It's not they, something that, that it escapes. I know. Me. It just sort of feels like you. But I just. It's, you didn't it's, know. It's, and it's, then you're it, trying no, to. but it's just something that I never think about because yeah. I, I'm I'm with men most of the time. And I just don't think about it as like a thing. Why would you ever think about I, it? That's why it's a really funny but question to ask down, a gay guy. Walking down the road, how many tampons do women use? But I, I wonder. Just, it's, it's so weird. It just doesn't enter my like. That's something you guys probably think about. No. Look, it's beautiful. You've got the and you've natural. Got the, <laughs> and that's I think. Okay. What we should do. No one has ever claimed that that period. No one has ever made an implication that you yeah. believe that periods are either not beautiful nor a natural. I just want to make of, it. Of, clear that women are queens and it's natural and beautiful okay. and they should be in positions of power mm -hmm. and we need to close the gender pay gap right Schlatt? excellent you are killing it right now <laughs> <laughs> you are killing it dude my audience is loving this yeah i'm sure they are i've Jotters. said this question so precisely every yeah, time it was like it was like my, like you were accurate at a microscopic level yeah. quantum mania <sighs> It's this is that true pain you were talking about. I'm gonna go with unli unlimited games because I love games. Okay. And I love playing and I love playing games. But there's uh there there's a problem with that. No but cares. it's okay. You can commit to that. I uh. I mean, there's this only isn't final final answer. So, final answer. Uh, you know, this isn't actually gonna happen to you though. You know, this is this is a hypothetical. And what's that? You said, uh, so it's I don't not, have to pick? I, I, no, 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 you, you have do to have pick. to, you, you have do have to pick, but it's but not, it's not going to help me? No, it's not going to happen to you. Oh, it's not going to happen to me. So, so would you rather quit? Oh, so pass, I don't care. Well, oh, if it's just for your show. Did you then say I pass, don't, I don't care? Yeah, if it's just for your show then I, and it doesn't affect me, then I don't, then I don't care. Well, uh, if you don't answer, I'll pass. be mad. I'll be mad and pass. it will affect your social standing with me. Pass. What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> this is, I've never, no one's. You can't pass. pass. I can't do you can't this. Pass. I don't. Care. You can't do this, you can't Eddie. Pass. You I don't care. If you can't enforce it, then pass. Did you think we could enforce it? Were we going to kill you if you didn't answer it? What did you think I was going to happen? I can get you unlimited bacon directly. You can't give me unlimited bacon. No. So we're wasting my time as a guest. <laughs> and and look, okay, I'm looking well, straight in the camera. I may, pass. Have, I may have misspoke. Pass. I may have misspoke here. We can, with all the money that Chuckle Sanders makes, make sure this happens for you. Pass, I don't care. I just I, the what, fuck says pass. It's I not don't even care. like the, the fact that he's pass, saying pass. pass. It's the fact that he's saying I don't care. <laughs> pass immediately I don't care after. That. You're saying pass. You're saying I don't care right after pass is what's making it far more offensive. Pass. I don't give a shit. Then you know what? I fucking quit. How did you I'm manage to knock everything over? With I mean, it's not my show. So again. Sorry, sorry if you're a fan of the show. Sorry, Slad's gone. The OG ad was the guy slaying the dragon with the sword. It's totally unrelated it, to the Marine me? Corps. There was a yeah, it's from like the late '90s. That's like you're known telling as me the that greatest. there was a Sign ad up. ran by the government. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Dark Souls ad. A man <laughs> fighting a dragon, and they were like, "This is what it's gonna be like when you join the Marine Corps." Yeah, he like slays the dragon, and the camera pans, and he's in the dress blues. That's sick. You need to pull that up right now. Yeah, that's really. Okay. You gotta pull that up right now because that it sounds insane. I feel insane. like Top Gun got more people to join. Oh than yeah. Anything. Yeah. You kidding me? You imagine if commercials were cool again and yeah. weren't afraid to like take risks? You imagine like a cigarette commercial. This guy. <laughs> Camel. <laughs> Here's one that's pretty similar for oh, you. Oh okay. This one isn't a dragon. Am I onto something there? You're like, onto something. You are. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, oh, there's so electric lightning. on the sword. This is, a, this is, a, is this an army commercial? This is a... I think... You're telling me that this is a Marine Corps commercial? Yeah, it's literally How close did this come out Marine to the, like... Marine Corps, it's on oh the Marines my God. YouTube channel. What's that movie with Heath Ledger? Uh, Batman. You can see his butt. Night's Tale. Yeah, I wonder if this came out close to Night's Tale, because Night's Tale was a hit. Everyone's like, oh. I've never seen Knight's Tale. This is you wild. You can see Heath Ledger's butt. I do? Yeah, it's awesome. And it, okay, What's, so he's getting knighted by a lightning. Sword, you know, lightning sword. Lightning sword, there's a, there's a child smiling. There's a hot smiling. lady, oh. Oh. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna... 
Okay, Each and then own. they hand him the sword, and then he turns into a marine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and wow, wow, okay. No dragon in sight, Th though, This Tucker. is the dragon one. Oh, oh there's a dragon one. Oh, put full screen this. What <laughs> the hell are you for real? That's not a dragon. That's no, a lava monster, that? dude. <laughs> that's even more intense than... This came out before Are Lord you of the Rings. kidding me? What? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Gandalf. That is insane. He slays the lava monster of... <laughs> Puff of fire engulfs him and clothes him in the marine's garb. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate. And, and that's what got you. Yeah, well, that's how it works. That's how really? you get in. Yeah. That's, yeah. Now they is... now they show lame shit like like army people rescuing citizens. I feel yeah, like a lot of them. a lot of military commercials now are sort of in the same in the same vein as like car commercials where they say a lot of nothing. And, yeah. But like it sounds good where it's like go where no one has ever gone before climb the highest mountains and show what you were meant to be before who you knew you wanted to show Marines that meant a lot to me though. Yeah, I'm well, in I'm ready to kill but, but but they yeah, that's I've never really there's less experienced spotting the and rock community. climbing right like there's not rope. Like, as well That's that's lead climbing or, or like oh. top rope, but like they Do don't people have... ever just fall onto the mat below Dude, this is hard. You have not been Keep going for that long. Ow! It Keep hurts. The squeeze. And oh show the camera. God. Show the camera. Make sure they can see the hand. Hey! Make sure they can see <laughs> the hand. It hurts a lot. So How long has this been going for? It's only a minute and 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, so I just for, for context, I went... Ah! Wait, no. Take your hand off your thigh, though. You're pushing hey, it against push your... Hey, push it! <laughs> hand up! Up! Show the camera. So, so how is this possible? Ah! I thought you rock climbed. Ah! You might, no, you might be hamming it up. What I think is he's... Oh shit! Stop! I'm trying. I'm gonna move this away. From I need this. to like have access. I need to have control over this because I've been sprayed by this by Stop. both of you. Stop! Stop! <laughs> One way! Stop it! Oh, he's done. Oh fuck! I got something for you. Oh, what is it? You got it's a it. It's a box <laughs> of yum yum. Oh, show it to the camera. <sighs> Oh, it's uh, it's padlocked. A, it's a box. Tell me it's pink frosted sprinkle pink donut. Frosted. Fuck my worst <laughs> donuts. My baby. kryptonite. <laughs> my fucking kryptonite, guys. Oh. God damn. Please have one. It smells delicious. Have one, man. It smells. You gotta take a pink frost sprinkle donut. Um, you ordered I, a box full of them. I, hate, I got a box of them. I hate to do this. What? <laughs> I, hate to do this. I won't. I won't be. I, it's in my contract. Actually, I can't be seen with a pink frosted sprinkle donut in or around my body, especially not inside my body. Don't. Th but actually, you I know what? One. I will make an I, exception. I do want one. I will make an exception. If I do a little goatee, you can put it in the in not the mouth part. Okay. Shall I we? guess. Shall we? Yeah. All right. You take what you can get. I All guess. Right. You know. Here, I guess. Here, make some room. Make some room. Wait, what did they just oh. agree to? You're, there's lots. I guess of... I'll just eat my sandwich. Oh, there's not much room for legs. Or... No, it's all tough. Might not yeah. be able to stretch it wide. All right. Get a donut. Get a donut. Get a donut ready. Oh, sorry, a donut ready. This one, it's got the most sprinkles. Okay. Is that what you look for? You look. You got to get the one with the most sprinkle to pink. How do your listeners love okay. you to death? Yeah. They're right. doing like a okay. weird agreement thing where <sighs> I'm ready. You're actually ready. doing this. I'm ready. Do I have consent? <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah, I guess, man. Right. Yeah, man. All right, go for it. Wait, I got Holy shit. Here. Go for it. That's actually a goatsy right there. Go for it. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right. Do you want more? Do you want it in more? Yes. Okay. All the way. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Well, that was great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, don't you dare fucking cut that out. All right. Yes, sir. Were you? Have you ever been on camera before that? I streamed to like nobody. Okay. For like three years at that point. But. It, Sorry, I was but just it was. It that, I really wanted to do that too, so I'm glad he did it. Okay, I'll do it too. <laughs> that was way better. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Before we do it again, Ian, is that a rental? Uh, no, you own that actually. 
<laughs> nice, this is mine. Wait. You're right, it is. I remember it now. Why would you rent that? That is a crazy thing to rent. <laughs> that is like a this is like something that like you'd be like, oh, what's up? And then I could like let go right here and it'd be like, boing, like and it'd smack punch. you in the face. Yeah. Can we talk about the fucking story? Sorry, you guys got just as interested as I did. Mi yeah, I, I here's love the thing. That. No, Didn't take my medicine this morning. That was a problem. Yeah. That's I haven't what's taken going my on. medicine since the 11th grade. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That explains a lot. Yeah. Um, continue, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's so easy to be rude to you. It's it really so is. easy to be rude. It feels that way. It's so it easy. Like that I'm way. not like this with anyone else. Like no. like Schlatt is like in, like and you Schlatt is shocked right now. You know what's the worst part is what? behind the scenes he is so nice to me and I hang out with him and we talk about yes. I literally just had say, a, just just saying the opinion stronger doesn't make it true. Carl. It is true. You're getting upset at the fact that he called you nice. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to be misunderstood. Yeah, go ahead. Cause this is what you want. Oh, are you gonna let this happen? I feel like it would be cool. That'd okay. Be cool. It wouldn't hurt, cool. right? Cool. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 are you okay? Kind of like snap my earring a little bit. Ooh. It's good. It's just Ooh. a twist. It's a twist on too. Mm. You're right. I'm okay. All See, right. nice. Nice. He for probably forgot he was recording. Um, yeah. I did. I did for a second because I, because I that hit your head and it, it sounded loud. It sounded bad, and okay. so I got hit with a moment of empathy, which was just not how I normally am with Carl. Believe me. Let's. All right. Is let's, it like cool for it? You want it to be like your your my thing? Yeah. Is that your thing? The like not. It was like, like Schlatt with the banding thing. You're going to try to like. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> that was actually an accident. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> What a crazy react. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> like you're falling down a waterfall. <laughs> I think he, he could be a little frail, and I like Asmongold, but recently someone pulled up a picture of his bedroom on Twitter, and there was blood okay. on the wall. What? And his response to this, his explanation, <laughs> was that what? his gums would bleed at night, and he would wipe away the blood ah, and what? smear it on the wall, just so, Why? just so it, yeah, just so he could go back to sleep. There's the blood on the wall. Oh, that's so terrible. I think, yeah, I think there's some kind of wild card here where um, he might be fucking crazy, and he might just unleash this level of strength we've never seen before. Oh my goodness! Or just act in such an erratic manner where we'd be totally unable to counter him. So I think in this situation, personally, I would be fucking murdered by him. This guy's room is almost as dirty as yours did. That's not even... Okay, you're just being <laughs> ass right now. <laughs> Mine is, like, messy, but there isn't... It's not, like... It doesn't look like a hoarder's den. I'm putting this at we die. But if you what? feel if you feel like you can murder him, then that's fine. But I think that, I think he's got something going on that I do not well, want to. I, I do not want to. I fuck thought with. that I could mess with him, but now it sounds like you are like the gums. It, it, his gums I, would bleed, and he wiped them on the it, wall, bro. It's starting to sound like he's gonna like appear out of a pool of blood, like a Dark Souls that's boss. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. That that thing he said. <laughs> oh, okay. That's an yeah. insane person activity. Yeah. No, I think we die. I think we die. Then I don't. He's like gonna be fucking using blood magic on us. I don't want to take a chance. I don't even want yeah, no, to entertain this I, idea. I get it. Dude is yeah, unhinged. No. He's crazy. Yeah, no, I believe you. Jesus. All right, title again is Am I the asshole for not giving my girlfriend, 25 female, my dinner after I had already bought her dinner? Okay, here we go. My girlfriend, 25 female, and I, 29 male, live in New York City. And there's a popular app where you buy leftover restaurant food restaurants oh really that sounds yeah cool. i know listen to this restaurants <laughs> advertise surprise bags at a reduced price in order to reduce food waste the customer oh. doesn't know what they're getting until they pick the food up but the cost is at least three times lower than normal menu price so for an example if an entree is usually 24 dollars, the restaurant is allowed to charge eight at most for it oh these are hit or miss sometimes you get exactly what you want at a greatly reduced price but sometimes you get something that you otherwise wouldn't have picked from the menu I ordered a surprise bag from a barbecue place that I was picking up on the way home yesterday. I texted my girlfriend asking if she wanted one, but she said no. She wasn't in the mood for barbecue. However, there was an Indian restaurant right next door that also had surprise bags available on the app. So she ordered one of them. 
The barbecue was 12 and the Indian food was 10. When I get home, I unpack the meals to see what we got. I was psyched about my bag. Since I paid $12, I knew the value had to be at least $36. But honestly, the platter looked a lot more expensive. This was a hit. Keep in mind that we live in the West Village, which is the most expensive neighborhood and the most expensive city in the U.S., so $36 for one meal is pretty typical. There were burn ends, ribs, pulled pork, baked beans, potato salad, bread, onions, and pickles. And pickles. My girlfriend, however, was less lucky. Her surprise bag only had six different types of soup, half of them being variations of cauliflower soup. (laughs) Oh, Oh, no. She was disappointed to say the least. She asked if we should share my barbecue, and I said, no, I'm hungry. I offered to buy you some, and already you said no. So so I'm going to devour it. (laughs) Okay, first of all, can I just say something right now? This is absolutely something that I could see Tucker being involved in. This is like a scenario I could see Tucker doing. not that mean, dude. (laughs) Well, I can see see this happening. But I can see I would, this happening. No, you know what it is? I can see this happening between you and Moses is what I could see. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> no, Dude, no, that's no. hilarious. I'm that's hungry. I offered to buy you some and you already said no. So I'm going to devour it. Okay. He's the <laughs> asshole. I mean, it's <laughs> hilarious, but he's the asshole. I got one more Just, paragraph. Let me. Uh, oh, yeah? To, okay. Yeah. She oh. got mad and called me the asshole. I told her if she didn't want to. <laughs> she broke the fourth she wall. Said, she said YTA on this one. She said YTA, YTA. big time. YTA, YTA. 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 I, I told her if she didn't want soup, she should have ordered something specifically instead of using the surprise bag app. I then told her to just order something off a food delivery app. She said she didn't want to spend the money. Another bit of context is I make a lot more money than her and I pay all of our rent. I know she's running a bit of a lean financial picture right now. I then tell her that if she doesn't want to pay for delivery, I'll walk to the bodega on her street and can buy her something there. Another bit of context context is that we live on the fourth floor walk up with no elevator and she broke her leg in a car accident a month ago. <laughs> so it can be tough for her to get around. <laughs> 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 she says the grill's pie off there and all she wants is a hot meal. I tell her she has the soup. <laughs> Am I okay. the asshole? Oh, man, dude. Oh. He's really like kind of going out of his way <laughs> to make it seem like he's the asshole, too. Even if he wasn't. Like, he's, he's playing like, with the oh jury. My God. She broke her leg and oh she can't fucking God. move and she doesn't want seven cups oh of soup. Oh, shit. Maybe okay, I gotta start if, using if Reddit, like, dude. <laughs> that's fucking was great. Like, if it was like she got like some chicken tikka masala that was like too hot or something for her, okay, I'm getting it. She got like eight soups. Uh, that sucks. Okay, uh, here's my answer. Dude should have just been like, I can get you like I. If I was in that scenario, I would have been like give giving her some of the food, especially if it, it sounds like the dude got a fucking feast. Yeah, it sounds like he got a feast, and Ted, she got like Ted, soups. No, no, I, Ted, Ted. I'm sorry. He was hungry. <laughs> and he wanted to devour and he deserved it would you rather have to speak in rhyme for the rest of your life or have to speak in <laughs> riddles for the rest of your life oh riddles any day of the week man riddles any really? fucking day of the week because nobody because what's what's the definition of a riddle it could be a bad riddle so you could just speak like an insane person the whole I know, but ri- talking in riddles, you already sound like a fucking insane person. And then no one, you would never be able to say what you actually mean. Everything you say would. Oh, you say what would, you mean. It just takes people a little bit longer to figure it out. I'd rather do that than have to sound like a fucking nursery rhyme character 90% of my life. No, but no, no. But then talking to you and, and having you around becomes a chore, Ted. You become a bore, Ted. <laughs> Yeah, but then if I'm hanging with you, I want to snore, Ted. If I'm rhyming all the time, it's like nothing I will do will be sublime. I don't even know if that makes sense. See, like this is a problem. Like I like did that even rhyme time and sublime that you're unsure if they rhymed. I'm not sure if you're equipped. I wasn't going to finish that. I wasn't going to rhyme again. I, yeah, no, I was I was kind of waiting for you to. Yeah, I realized that I had rhymed in that sentence, but uh yeah, that's now it's awkward. I really didn't meant this. What? 
I don't know, man. I'm trying to like run, but it's, it's not there? working. This is terrible. See, this is, this is why working. I need to speak in riddles. And half the time, I feel like people think I am speaking in riddles because I'll start saying something and it'll come out of my mouth, and then people will be like, "Ted, what the fuck did you just say?" And I'll be like, "You know, your guess is as good as mine. You know, you don't need to say a riddle and actually know the answer. You know, I could just then be a- you just then it's just like, why the fuck am I even hanging with this person? <laughs> then it's like I don't want to ever see him again." Because half he can, I know he only speaks in riddles, but half the time he doesn't even know what the fuck he's saying to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do I even bother? There's, there's this thing. My dad, my dad was into Facebook for a bit. He was really <laughs> into Facebook for a bit, and Tucker's gonna uh-huh. love this because this is something I've never had a chance. To, and my parents listen to the podcast, so like he's probably gonna hear this and be like, "Ted, what the fuck are you doing?" But my dad is, you know, he's cooled off a little bit. But back in the day, he was very much so touting his conservative values on Facebook but like uh-huh. people he would say something he'd respond to like a news article or something and then you know his his mutual friends of, of the more liberal variety would respond and be like Ted this doesn't make any sense and then he'd he'd reply in like these riddles like he'd, he'd say like he'd say like I, I don't even remember what it was but half the time the stuff wasn't making any sense like it was a joke just for him <laughs> like it was like something he was like he wrote this and he was like man that's awesome but it was like no one else got it <laughs> and Tucker was a big fan of this because he would always this was like re- I guess this must have been around when Facebook first released the concept of reactions to comments so mm. I, I would see these posts from my dad and then all of his, like the post and then all of my dad's replies and comments would have a wow reaction from Tucker like, like with the open <laughs> mouth thing it would be like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's sad. Sometimes we're talking about throw a sad in there just to keep things interesting. Yeah. But yeah, no. So, you know, it kind of runs in the family a little bit, which is why I feel like I'm, I'm pretty equipped to be speaking in riddles is that I could just huh. I could just start saying, you know, who do you think you were before you knew who you wanted to be? I mean, come on. Come on. Who do you think you were right. before you knew who you wanted to be? Think about it. Uh-huh. I don't know, but I don't want to hang with you anymore. That's such a specific problem that you've you've illustrated with this riddle thing is that like is that once you start it's riddling everything yeah I agree everything you say yeah. has to be I just riddles. don't I just don't I feel like there's a quirky aspect to the riddling thing there's like sort I of a am mis- hungry there is a, I want Skittles there's a mystery I'm just gonna I'm gonna like water water into the fridge with that one I I feel like there's a mystery to the Riddler. You can call yourself the Riddler too, which is cool. Uh, and you could dress okay, in a green yeah. suit. But yeah. there's a mysterious aspect to the riddle person where it's like, oh, this guy, you got to meet this guy. He he doesn't make nothing he says makes sense, dude. He's speaking in riddles all the time. He's like a medieval character. He's like, a, he's like, a, he's, he is like from a mythical tale. And then it's like on the other side of it, it's like, oh, we got to fucking hang out with this, with, 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 Humpty Dumpty again. He's gonna start doing nursery rhymes. He's gonna start. Come on, bro. I don't want to speak on, to someone bro. where it sounds feels like I'm having a conversation with with like someone who's actively acting in a in a children's TV show. Like no okay. one wants now. That. Now try and get that point across while talking a fucking riddle. You dumbass. Anything could be a riddle, though. What if I? What if? What if? What is a riddle at the end of the day? Come on. I don't know, Ted. Hard to say. See, that was a riddle right there. What is a riddle more than just a question? Posed in confusing terms. <sighs> don't sigh. Like you, you're like just, you've you're got just it all a figured out you're or something. Lot. We're talking about okay, if you want to rhyme for your whole life, if you want to riddle you're just for your whole a lot, life. Ted. I'm a lot. You're a lot. I'm a lot. <laughs> you're a lot. <laughs> okay, fine. So you can rhyme for the rest of your life, and I will be a mysterious riddle character that everyone wants around and wants at every party because I'm mysterious and cool. Okay? No, because you're a fool. That doesn't count. You can't just rhyme with what I said. Ted. You guys should uh, attack all of the pizza places. Pizza place. F. No, no. Oh, you know, F, no, 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 F, no, 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 F, F, F. What are you doing, F. man? What are you doing? Little Caesars, I've never had Little Caesars before. So I could put... I, I, nothing pizza. special. I could put that in F. $5 hot and ready. F. D- Domino's A. 
F. What a. are you fucking talking about? No, you don't about? understand the history that Tucker Domino's and I have. Domino's A? No, you don't understand the history oh that Tucker God. and I have That's with the Domino's. most New England yeah. shit I've ever heard, What do you dude? mean? New England? What do you mean? Oh. No, it's not oh. about... Because you want to be... You want to... You're so close to the good pizza, and yet you have to fucking rely on the oh, stupid, dude, shitty chains like Domino's, We have man. good pizza in... in, in so then why are you this putting it This proves you don't understand. You, this proves you don't understand a lick about uh, what you're Ted, talking about. And, uh, next time, maybe next episode's mid-episode, I'll show the receipt. Yeah? <sighs> yeah. Because I got it. Oh, the receipt where it was like... Yeah, no. Yeah, I, yeah. I know what you're talking about where it was like... You guys are going to get shit for this. No, we're not going to get shit because I'll tell you one thing get that you need to this. understand about okay. Domino's, Domino's Pizza. Fine. Is that Domino's Fine. Pizza is not a pizza place and should not be placed in the same category as like a New York slice from Joe's or something like that, you fucking prick. It's a fast or food roses. place. It's a fast food place. Domino's is a fast food food place you can order fucking loaded tots there you can order their fucking parmesan bread bites that will kill your body but they're so goddamn good that it feels so uh -huh. good in the moment you can get a pan mm -hmm. i can i can't tell you how many times tucker and i have ordered pans for each other over our, over our childhood where you're like oh you're gonna get me a pan you buying yeah yeah i'm buying i'm buying you a pan pizza baby with bacon and pepperoni so it's fast. That's that's the that's what it is. Yeah, it's fast food. It's like, let, let me tell you what else is yeah. fast. All right, you fucking asshole. Walk into any pizzeria. Say I want a slice of pizza. They fucking give it to you. You pay a dollar twenty five. You're at the door, and it's way better than Domino's. This is bullshit. You're gonna get it's shit not for this. Better than Domino's. You're gonna get it's different. You're gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble for this opinion. Okay, Ted. okay, I get it. I get it. But listen to this. If I, I had agree. the option of putting, you know, Serrano's brick oven pizza at a nest, I would. I would. And that's why I put, I, that's why I wasn't throwing Domino's an ass, because it's not an ass. It's not A. It's not even anywhere close to A. What are you talking about, you man? You put fucking White Castle at S, dude. What? what, what you're, it's the vibes. It's the vibes. There's no vibes okay? here. Your entire, a, the there's entire a time and a place. There's a time and a place for White Castle, and there's not for Domino's. In the, anywhere in the Northeast, bro, pizza is right there at your fingertips. You can go to anywhere, say, give me a slice, huh? and then they, they fucking give it to you. You listen to me, you cockamamie fuck, okay? You fucking The entire sucker. structural integrity of your opinion dissolved the moment you were like, I'm going to make a deal with you, Ted. And then you made me make uh. a deal with you, and they were like, I'm going to put White Castle at fucking S, all right? The people don't trust oh. you right now. The listeners, audio listeners, no. love you to death. They don't trust you. They don't. Maybe some of these people haven't even seen your face, and they're like, "I bet he looks like a fucking rat." And they'd be right. <laughs> but y you know what? I'm right here, and everyone knows with the with the head on their shoulders that Domino's is not deserving of a. You're gonna put Domino's, Ted, Ted, Tucker, you're putting Domino's on up. the same. Stop I'm talking and think for a fucking second, Ted. You're putting Domino's at the same level as Chick Fil A. Yeah, it's a fast. You're putting food place. Domino's. You're putting Domino's above In and Out. Like this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, because this is ridiculous. No, because, to me. because Domino's has served us honorably for years, years. without fail. Without fail. All right, here we go. Are we ready? What? Okay. Hey, fellas, long time chuckler, first time sandwich. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my most controversial opinion would have to be that the troops outside of the like grocery store and and stuff, not the like homeless ones, but like the ones like with an organization with a little booth and a table mm -hmm. that stand where like Santa stands in the wintertime uh -huh. ringing a bell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, those guys don't deserve any money. Oh. And it's not like political. I don't like just hate troops or like the army or whatever. Okay. Mm. It's because... You got to think, right? Like all the brave ones that like mattered and that deserve our money are dead. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Like they got shot in the head by some dude yeah. like, way overseas. Way over. And they're gone. And these schmoes that are sitting around are probably. Schmoes. Like, <laughs> probably, like, <laughs> but like, you know, they're more likely to be a coward. <laughs> you got to think, right? Like if you're not out there shaving your 
your uh, whatever you call it, um, comrades or your homies, <laughs> so to speak. Dude, this sounds like someone and Tucker just, went, just, went worked with. You're yeah. hiding. And, <laughs> you know, I shot one guy this whole time. I mean, they're more likely to live because they're not out there in the you know blood and bones and blood <laughs> and bones. <laughs> and, you know what I mean, I mean? those are the guys that deserve the money. The guys that are out there. It's true. He's right. Saving their he's right. Their buds he is and, right. And all that. So yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> this is my freaking opinion, man. Thanks, Rick. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Rick. That was fucking incredible. Uh yeah, Rick. No, we're I think I think for everyone here at Chuckle Sandwich, we're hundred percent on your side. If someone's not if someone's not swimming through blood and bones and they don't deserve <laughs> our cash. Uh, yeah, no. I think this is I think this is something for Tucker to talk about. Dude, being that an was so funny. Rick, <laughs> Rick's got to go talk to a recruiter, dude, because he'd go far. Yeah, no, <laughs> he sounds like he sounds like a fucking marine. Yeah, he sounds like he one sounds of the guys like, you worked with. Yeah, yeah, dude, he does. He sounds like so fucking, that, I don't know, like he sounds like King or something like that. These people yeah. that he's talking about, is he talking about like panhandlers who are collecting money for themselves? I don't know what he's talking about. Just know. people <laughs> like no, see, about that's the Do you beauty see of it. Soldiers that's the beauty of it. <laughs> collecting money <laughs> frequently? I thought when he said troops outside of a supermarket, I was thinking like the Santa Claus fucking the, the, the Girl Scouts. I thought, I thought he was thinking employees. the Girl Scouts trying to move yeah. some fucking thin mints, <laughs> like Vin Diesel pacifier style. I mean, that's a good point, really. I mean, if the if if I'm I would be more inclined to give money to a girl scout if it looked like she'd yeah. been swimming through the blood and bones like if it, it's like, true I, i'm more yeah. inclined to give money to girl scouts that are missing a leg or an arm or have got like a big fucking sky scar on their face huge gash we should send them to war yeah they can go in small spaces mm -hmm. do reconnaissance all that yeah. shit yeah 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 give them a give yeah. them a fucking give them a barrett 50 cal Send them yeah. into the field. Give them some cybernetic implants. They got those right now, Tucker. They got some cybernetic implants here and there. Living flesh over metal endoskeleton. Am I the asshole for telling my son he has to wear clothes? <laughs> okay, here's a story. Yes. <laughs> my son, male, 19. We're in, it's like it starts off. It starts off and it's like, sorry for interrupting you, but it starts off and like, we're in a nudist community. <laughs> and then that's like throws the whole logic of it for a loop go go ahead tucker sorry my son male 19 loves to just wear underwear in his room for whatever reason he'll throw on a shirt and pants if he has to step out to go to the bathroom come to the kitchen talk to anybody etc but otherwise he's just in his underwear i male 48 told him multiple times that i dislike this and that he has to wear clothes in case his mom or i have to come into his room he says that if we start knocking, he'll throw something on and it'll be okay. I told him he still has to wear clothes and then he made another excuse and said it was too hot. In the summer, I tend to set the thermostat to around 85 or 87 to save money. What no, the fuck? No, no, what no, no. What the fuck? No. What no. the fuck? I was on his side until that. Oh my God. I turn it down to around 80, 82 once the sun goes down because then it oh. takes less energy. Oh my God. He says that it makes him sweat when he's just sitting around not doing anything, and I rejoin by saying, if it's so hot, go spend a couple hours outside, see if it still feels hot. We live in Oklahoma, and it routinely gets up to 100 in the summers. He rolled his eyes at this, and we just kept arguing. I'm wondering now if I'm the asshole. Yes! Yes, dude! Keep your fucking thermostat at 68 degrees, and don't change it! That's the that's the God's number right there. Sixty eight degrees on the thermostat. Sixty. That's a little chilly for me. What are you talking about? That's a little chilly for me. Oh my God! Your your fucking bill must be astronomical. You what do you mean, me? I, bro? I would save money. I'll, okay, if, that was if I was a little... feeling a little cold, I'll put it up to seventy, maybe. You but save money for the higher is it is. The God's is that what i told you his math's fucked up your math is entirely in the wrong direction here no yes yes you just said to me 68 degrees baby yeah and i said that's too chilly for me nah. and you said your electric bill's gonna be through the ted it's hotter out there harder to make house cool harder make house cold Easier make house warm. I have an explanation. Okay. 
My thermostat logic comes from exclusively growing up in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Yep. Fair. Yeah, because you pay for the heat. Yeah, and so I escape freezing. once again into the hills. Right. We got my, off. You got off scot free in Massachusetts when it's no, hot Tucker, outside. Don't say anything. Don't say. I don't remember you being spoken to there. Yeah, I am hitting my word allotment for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. This is the one scenario. This is the one scenario that I can like prevent Tucker from coming in with some banger that that puts me on the ropes again. Dude, dude, uh, I was on his side until the thermostat. The, the title yeah. of the post should be "Am I the asshole? I keep my house <laughs> at ninety degrees." <laughs> yeah, am I the asshole man? for heat torturing my 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 my, my <laughs> son and being confused why he walks around and all underwear when he is like dude you, the, the house is a sauna you've You'll kept be, your house yeah. to, the, the, to the temperature of a sauna and y you know maybe that maybe that's what the swedish like to do and maybe it's a swedish family i don't know but Oklahoma. you know you, can, you so you're not you're you know this is this is wrong what you're doing this is this is this is shameful this is how to get put in a house when you're older tucker when we when it, when he went over to the butter rather than slicing it like this like a like you know vertically on the horizontal thing like that like a normal human he starts going at the top and scraping it at the top off the top Tucker? yeah off the top off the and it top. was like soft and butter too so it was like shaving it down and stuff oh. and it was like squishing it what the i was fuck? horrified i had to this morning he's tried doing it again this morning he tried doing it again okay. he tried i doing cooked it again. at a full breakfast so i don't want to hear it <laughs> I don't want to hear Ooh, it. You, you got a problem with the breakfast? kitchen? You can get in it. You did make you did make breakfast. Although you did agree to stop, stop doing it, though you did agree. You made we that, called that, my that was mom. on your word. I, yeah, because I did actually. I this morning took out the phone and I called Tucker's mom. Really? Yeah, I Why? called. I called her on the phone. She picks up the phone. She's like, "Hi, Tucker," and I'm like, "It's me." And she's like, "Hi, Ted," and I'm like, "Listen." There's something going on. There's something wrong. And she's like, "Oh my god, what's what's happening?" And I'm like, "I'm like, it's you know, nothing, nothing like dangerous, but like, Tucker is behaving in a way that is it is shocking to me, and I need you to involve yourself in this because." It, and I'm like, I described the whole situation, and she says, "Normally he does. You would do that with a frozen butter scenario, but with a melted, like when it, not necessarily melted, but sort of soft butter scenario." You never do that. It's disgusting. You don't have and to she do was that. ashamed of him. And she told him not to do that anymore. And now he's promised, actually, Tucker, and on, on his honor as a Marine, he's he's promised that to <laughs> me and his wife, Emma, that he's not going to do that anymore. And if I hear down the grapevine from, like, Emma will text me. And I will not dock respond. your pay if you start doing that again. Because it was honestly freaking me out, Tucker. I've known you for years. That is something that... I, I don't think I as I got the ick, I got the friend ick from that. I've never I have not ever been bothered by something as much as I have been bothered by you doing that, and it's so inconsequential. But the muffins were well, good. honestly it, it affected me though too because I have to deal with that butter as well. I think it was it was it was selfish of you. Jesus fucking Christ! Fucking twenty minute yap session. No, it Christ. hasn't. It's been maybe it's five minutes. Going. I'm just pissed about it. What are you talking? You're on a podcast. What are you complaining about? Hey, Sark, would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more games, or games, unlimited games, but no games? <laughs> it's a pretty cut and dry Sark, question. Like, did you hear? I feel like he was being pretty crystal clear about it when he was. Did saying you hear it. what I said? You're right. Oh God. Okay. Did I did I stutter? Is, are you seeing this right now? You see, is he, Tucker, what's going on? <laughs> I'm it's your guest, man. Shut the fuck up, Tucker. <laughs> it's it is cut and dry. Shut, the, it's shut up, Tucker. You're fucking ruining everything. Cut and dry. You want me to say it again, Sark? Would you rather have unlimited bacon, <laughs> but no more games? <laughs> Freaking out, man. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Or games. But no games. But no games! That's the kicker, people! It cancels itself out! Games and no games! You take the fucking bacon! Holy fuck! How many
many times has he asked this? Yeah, but, uh, fucking, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, it's so confusing. It's not confusing. You take the bacon. Okay. Schlatt. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right. You take the bacon. All right. All right. You take the bacon. I mean, I guess. I, that's a that's a that's way a, to perform. I just I, I guess, guess I guess people would just normally ask you know, but like, what about like all those games? Like, I, have you considered the unlimited the unlimited aspect of the games is games? sort of like an appealing? Oh, he's freaking out again. What are you? What, Teddy's what, freaking what? out again. Teddy's freaking. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus he Christ! His pants. Oh my god! <laughs> he just shit his pants. <laughs> or we can just forget. We can just forget. You know, we, there's not there's not like no. much about. Hey, whoa! Oh my god! He's gonna throw up. Oh my god. Uh uh wow. Yeah, no, this is you just this is a fake take, plan. You just take take the bacon. Okay, yeah, take no, the we'll bacon. take the you take the bacon. We will take the bacon for do you, do you? It's crazy. Fuck you, Slat <laughs> What the fuck were we doing learning trig? I didn't learn trig, I don't think. You didn't learn trig? Did I learn trig? I took algebra of course one. You learned you I took algebra I, I'll tell you what I took. I took algebra one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Holy yeah. fuck! He's been there all day, dude. He got so close to getting on Ted's shoe during the That thing is big. Dude. He's a grasshopper. He got so, That's a cricket. I was watching that at least two thirds of the episode with wow. uh, Sark. That's a huge cricket. Dude, you should have did you not mention it because the Sark would have freaked out? Maybe no, no. I was, dude. I was like this because he came over here. He went over there. Dude, Ted, he was this close to your foot, Ted. He was this close to getting on your foot. In which case, I was going to tell you to look at your foot. But you guys were talking so much, I couldn't tell you. Audio, dude. What the fuck? Why would you kill that? Why didn't you just let it outside? That wasn't hurting you. It's a fucking cricket. I don't know. Something about it was just di diabolical. The way that you killed that thing. You it wasn't a, having fun in here. You took a video of it for social media and then you stomped it to death. Yeah, that one. That was <laughs> fucked up. You, yeah, you used it. Was. You used it for clout, and you quite literally killed it Im immediately after. That was so <laughs> fucked up, dude. That was absolutely <laughs> diabolical. What you did. Look me in the eyes. Don't look at your shoe like you're wondering how it, oh it messed up my shoe. These are Anyways, Reese's, man. It's got Reese's. You get two. I suppose. What? I suppose. Oh, you're gonna. No, you, like you didn't say it. that. He'll, I didn't hear you say, say that. Way, I bet. What a Reese's. Bingo. No, no. Like the peanut butter cup. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't say it like that. That's a joke way to say it. Reese's. Reese's. And then it's smaller alternative, Reese's Pieces. Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's going on? I'm not engaging in this. <laughs> why, I'm not why engaging not? in this. What the fuck no, is wrong with you? no, we don't call things. We've definitely we talked about this before. We don't call it Reese's Pieces. Yeah, we do, because they're little pieces. <laughs> You're laughing even saying I'm not. That. You're I laughing did, even I, saying did, did I you say, know uh -huh. it's crazy. Did I say ha uh ha? -huh. You know it's crazy. You look at the Reese's Pieces and you look at those little pieces and you don't think that they look like pieces. You don't think that shit looks like a couple of pieces? You're, you're out of your goddamn mind. You know it's absurd. I'm not, I'm, no, you know I'm laughing at how ridiculous absurd. it is that you, you don't agree with me. You know your way of life is absurd. I'm laughing at how ridiculous it is you don't agree with me when you see those little Reese's pieces and you don't think that that looks like a PC. You're out of your fucking mind, man. When you see when you see those little pieces. Yeah, it's like the little pieces. They're just crawling. You're fucking crazy. They're kind of crawling around. You're a crazy a little, person for thinking little, like that. Just, I'm not a crazy person. I'm... I'm it's woke. A, I'm woke. Who, it okay. It's I'm woke. Come on, man. Is that not woke? Yeah. I'm woke and base, dude. Tucker, look up Reese's PCs. logo. Look up Reese's PCs. It's it's it has an apostrophe in it, man. Yeah, that name is Reese. No, okay. Yeah. Reese's. Yeah, Reese's. In the commercial for Reese's Puffs, they say. Reese's Puffs. Reese's, Reese's Puffs. Puffs. Reese's Puffs. No, they Peanut don't. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. 
Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Reese's no. Puffs. You're gaslighting me. I'm not, it's not gaslighting you. Because I know Tucker, look, up Re- look up Reese's. Reese, bro. Tucker, Reese. Tucker, could you look up Reese's PCs? Real quick, you look up Reese's PCs. This is silly. It's not this silly. This is silly, and you know it's silly. It's not. Look at those. You know it's silly. No, but okay. Well, click on one of those so we can kind of get a closer view on the PCs. So, like, do you see all of those? Do you Reese understand? is the person nine who made the Nine point nine ounces of PCs are in that bag. Shut up. Dude. Shut up. I'm laughing at how ridiculous it is that you don't get it. No, I'm not engaging in this conversation you anymore. You engaged for I much longer than I thought you would since the last to. time you said that you wouldn't engage. We are going to be making the Chuckle Sandwich. Dude, you're like a fucking asshole to me all the time. You two are drunk. You're I'm not drunk! You're out of control, my bro. Shit. Oh my god, they're fighting! Oh my god! Stop them! They're gonna hurt someone! They're gonna hurt someone! <laughs> Oh my god, he has his leg wrap! Oh! You're through. Happy 100 episodes, everyone. Is it good? It's good, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's good. Right. Yeah, everybody. It's been an honor. Here's to 100 more. It's scary, man. It's like gag worthy, isn't it? There's so many flavors that hit you all at once. And it's mostly corned beef. I'm a mama. Tucker, you want a bite? Tucker's gotta take a bite. Not that bad. He got the quackity bite, I think. That's why he's- Oh, you got a quackity bite? He got bite? the quackity bite. You got the quack- don't tell me you're going in for a second. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you're going in for a second. All right, the next one's coming from Sig Daddy. Here we go. Sig Daddy? Hey, Slurk and Tud. Hey, uh, I, got, I got some that time. Sig Daddy. Just wanted to explain oh, and share an embarrassing fuck. moment in my life. This guy sound, kind of sounds um, like uh, courage. When I was about 17, I was... Uh, seriously dating a girl in high school and no you weren't sure enough I uh, you know was at the point in my life where we were both ready to lose our virginities well uh, back in the mid 2010s uh, cell phones were uh, full of buttons and you could easily butt dial people so as I was oh no losing my virginity in the back of my uh, 04 RAV4 um, I accidentally butt dialed my mother. No! Seven and a half minute voicemail of uh, all of the unsavory parts of. Uh, oh my no! fucking god! No, no, dude. Uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my uh, embarrassing story, and uh, I'm gonna go wrap my car around a fucking pole. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Sig Daddy, you're winning thus far with the embarrassing stories. That sucks. Holy oh shit. man, I wonder how long the mom listened to it. No, it was a voicemail, so you had. To, yeah, I, I imagine the next that once he realized, dude, once he hit end call on that phone, probably the fucking Samsung Intensity Two with the slide out keyboard. Oh, dude, he probably booked it home. It was like a, it was probably like a scene out of fucking John Wick. Him trying to yeah. get to that phone and delete the. Yeah, delete no, the he's message. probably drifting around corners in the streets. Yeah. Oh God, dude. Mom, get that off your phone. What a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, how do you even? Because hey, mom. Because if 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 I, you know, I don't know how would that conversation with the mom even go down? With like, mom, delete that voicemail off your phone. Why? What's on it? What's on it? Well, mom, let me just I listen got, to it. I got hacked. <laughs> I got, I got hacked. You don't want to <laughs> listen to that. It'll give a. It'll put a virus on your flip phone. <laughs> and then at the same. Virus. And at the same time, he's listening to the, on the voicemail. He's like, "Yeah, my name is Sig Daddy, and I live at this address, and I'm fucking you right now." Full name. <laughs> fucking a. Wow, that's a good one. See, this is what we're looking for, chocolates. We're looking for shit like this. That sucks. Oh yeah, man, that's the winner. That's the winner currently. Yeah, that's, that's the, the current winner. winner. It's at the. That's an S tier embarrassing story. Um, all right. 
Hello, Ted Bundy and Jesus. <laughs> so my embarrassing story. Okay, that one was uh, funny. Actually, happened Ted Bundy and couple Jesus. <laughs> Bless you. What are you doing sneezing on it? Bless you. <laughs> What's um, happening? When... Bless you. <laughs> okay. Um. So my embarrassing story <laughs> is. Um, He's fucking. We got Jeremy from iCarly. A couple weeks ago. My school, I'm on student council. We had a cornhole tournament, so I was working the board for the bracket. And there was there was a team called Bussy Bus. And um, over the intercom, over, over the microphone, to everyone, I pronounced it Bussy Bus. Uh, and um, I, it's been weeks, and I, it is still brought up. Dude, this is. <laughs> Oh, what is that? what the fuck is up with this kid? He was like <laughs> he didn't he didn't record it a second time like he sneezed oh. like four times at the beginning of that. He sounds like he's fucking bedridden right now. Saying oh, bussy man. bus. Oh fuck. That's, that's pretty funny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I don't know like they definitely the people who made that group name definitely meant for it to be pronounced that way. There's no way that they didn't. I don't know. You can't tell know. me that Bussy as a as a word exists, and these kids. It sounds like high school. It sounds it sounds like these kids put on. Yeah, like there's no way they weren't writing bussy because they knew that the teachers wouldn't know the the word. Bussy is more culturally relevant than bussy. Yeah, currently. Yeah, what is bussy mean? I think mean? it will be. I think it'll only get more culturally relevant soon mm. after I'm done with it. But that's funny. That's a funny thing. That yeah, happened. it is a pretty funny thing. PA, you yeah. Know? I mean, you can embrace that and turn it into like, oh, that's a cool, like, yeah. I'd, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. Like, you know? Maybe, and I hope they won, to be honest. I hope they won big time. There we go. I, I, you know, they probably did. They probably did. Bald Eagle's an A. Or an S. S. An S. S. You see Have a bald. Have you seen videos of these fucking things? I've seen them in person. They are humongous. They're not so that big. big. They're not These that big. Bucket, they are megafauna. Okay. They're not. Compared they're not. to the other things we got in this S tier, pigeon and bearded dragon, that that is a humongous bird. That, that is a look big at that bird. fucking bird. Dude. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. Compared to a Damn. pigeon. I think that, that thing I could suck you off on its feet. No, it can't. No, oh, yeah, it could. All that. it's got you talents and it's got a beak. No, it feet? can't. It doesn't have a. I mean, it has a tongue, but it doesn't have lips. It's not going to be an enjoyable experience. It's going to be all teeth. It doesn't dude. have to be enjoyable. Okay, so whether or not it could do it. Oh, well, I guess it could try, but it's not like what defines a blowjob. It's like a be. I don't want a beaky blowjob, brother. Yeah, you'd be circumcised. You, yeah, you'd be if, circumcised if by already. its by its yeah. beak. Yeah, you would. I don't know why I brought that into the equation. Yeah, shame on you. But I'll tell you one thing: seeing a bald yeah. eagle—that's a nice, that's a nice moment. You're driving along Dude, you the just, highway, yeah, fuck and you look off, and, it, and somebody in the car is like a bald eagle. You look, and yeah. it's it's flying majestically, and you can tell when you see him. I've seen one oh, yeah. on a whitewater rafting trip too, just in the trees, Ooh, fuck and that was yeah. cool. Fuck it. They're such cool animals. And that's you know, like the best. That's the best mascot of all time. Like the U.S. really. I mean, uh, we get a lot of shit wrong. Yeah. But the, oh, my God. That's yeah. that's right. That yeah. just feels right. I can't. I Honestly, is that like our, our mascot animal or is it our national bird? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the mascot. Dude. dude it was like. It would have been funny if like another country just also made it their national bird just to fuck with us, even though it didn't live there. Like, does it require it? has to live in the country, I assume, in order to be able to say it's your national bird, surely. Canada yeah, probably could probably... it theirs if they want it, but that is we, true. We got it first. What's they Canada's national leaf. bird? Probably some dumb. Leafs. The leaf bird, mm. yeah. I bet it's like the tundra goose or a snow goose or something. Yeah, you think so? Oh, it's the beaver, dude. It's the beaver. That's not a bird, you of fucking Canada. idiot. It's not a bird. I'm sorry. Animal. Na the national animal. What, is it? What, what do you think? Countries are all like, oh, we need a bird. National the bird. Gray a jay. gray jay. That's weird. The national bird of Canada is a gray jay. That is Who literally. Who cares about the national bird of Canada? Are you been what within? We, have you been with the conversation the up what's until the now? National, what's the national <laughs> megafauna? Do you even know what? Do you know what we're talking what about right shit? now? 
Dude, we're talking, it's we're a national, national animal of the United States, <laughs> and they have to be. Part. You think they go? You think everyone has a meeting and they go down the list? Okay, we're go, we got to pick a, a national primate now. I'm having an argument oh, with somebody that isn't even. In yeah, the car I don't know right who now. you're talking to right now, man. What about the national <laughs> megafauna? What are you fucking talking about? We probably it would probably All be right. moose for us, maybe moose are huge. It's the national animal. <laughs> What? What's the okay? So what's the national <laughs> animal of the U.S.? Bald it's eagle. <laughs> what the fuck is this conversation? Okay. It, it, that'd be crazy if it's something different. The it bald says, eagle. No, well, now hold on. Now hold on. It says bald eagle, but then all of a sudden there's a bunch of bison. National mammal. Oh. The national mammal. <laughs> Which is Fuck a megafauna. That's a, it, that, it's a megafauna, dude. Well, what do you think the beaver is? The beaver uh, for Canada. It's a national animal. Yeah, and it's also a yeah. mammal. So who the fuck cares about a natural bird? What do you think they go we down were the talking list the about a, We were talking about the fucking bald eagle, man. What do you think? Yeah, you, the national animal. You're and out you of asked, what's the national animal of Canada? And I said the beaver because I looked it up. Okay. okay. Fuck off. Holy shit, man. You got to go educate Podcast yourself. This is going down the right. drain. No, it's not. It's going gonna, straight up guys, the drain and we're getting upchucked right now. We're getting thrown up by the fucking. Oh. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Let's quick fire. Let's fucking keep going on these fucking things. Who cares? What it's is that? eater fucking F eater. F, F, <laughs> F. Looks, it, 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 that's just a rodent. I hate rodents. What's that? Emperor penguin? Put him at a D. No, that's dude. not an emperor. That's a macaroni penguin. Macaroni penguin? Put him at a fucking E, e dude. That's e, a fucking weird e. pasta I shape. Don't, listen, well, you, Ted, you keep rapid firing. Just, just fire out some answers to this fucking Narwhal, shit. Narwhal, put, him at, a, for put a him at a C. Dude, I don't even care. Any, you're lucky. You, Bye, you buddy. Fucking, hope you find you're your all dad. Lucky that rodents <laughs> are on this list. Rat Platypus, put that ferret. motherfucker at a B. F tier animals. There's nothing cute, nothing redeemable about a raccoon with that fucking. With their thumbs, they have thumbs, and their bottom feeders. They don't here. deserve to a lot to be alive. Is put the, what I put think. Put that elephant seal at like an e. That thing is freaking peppermint. me out, dude. Oh, delicious! Ew, gross. Uh, I just went Big through. Big Crosby, you... White Christmas, Raccoon, F, <laughs> Red Pandas, D. <sighs> oh, don't care about I those. That was things. a fox. A skip and a hop away from rodents. Do you want to process what just happened, Shlade? Do you want to hear what nope. the... Oh, you got some Funko Pops. And that little Funko. Yay. Yeah, little, little Mickey. <laughs> you sound enthused, lad. <laughs> little, little, little Mickey here. You know, I have a conspiracy you, theory you, about Disney. There's so uh, many Disney. Funko Pops, and you chose to get you chose to get the mouse. Well, Mickey is a part of a conspiracy theory that I that I oh. came up with uh, okay. myself. Uh, it's called well, the Disney Sniffer Theory. Uh, and it's, you know, employee underwear is a requirement at Disney World. And so I have a theory that the real life Mickey Mouse uh, sniffs the underwear to confirm that the workers are wearing the um, employee oh, underwear, right? Because they're not allowed to film you and they're not allowed to, right, like watch Can you. Can we go back to the dress. beginning real quick? Right. Employee, employee underwear. Employee underwear? Employee underwear is a thing at Disney World. What are we what are we talking about here? You are required to wear not only the uniform but a specific underwear that they will provide, to my knowledge, right? I did a little PowerPoint whole whole video on what? it, you know, a little school presentation. Do you know what it looks like? Is it look comfortable? Um I I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's just because the you might see Dude, the underwear. Up. It is. Does it have little like linings? Uh, oh, this that is can cup this your is surely sack, for the for the character actors. Yeah. Oh. This isn't this isn't just like if you're working the if you're working the concession <laughs> oh, stand no, and they're making the you change your stand. fucking underwear. That seems <laughs> yeah, kind of no. crazy. But they have to know how you're wearing the underwear, right? Because like, what if what if I just don't wear the underwear? So I'm assuming when they return the underwear every day, real life Mickey exists. That's theory number one. Okay. Theory number two is that Disney Disney's Mickey smells the underwear and confirms whether or not it's been worn. 
Yeah. Right. That's Hot really, summer that's, day in Orlando, Florida. You're going to be able to smell you know? whether or not somebody's worn the employee underwear. So if we take this a step further, you realize that we, we can derive from this, right? What? Is that you've spent an inordinate amount of hours thinking about a real life Mickey Mouse sniffing underwear. Yeah, no, and I actually have, um, <laughs> if you, you could, I, I have photos of what I believe the real you life Mickey Mouse. Look up, uh, look up Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse in real life. And there's a few photos where I think they really just nail it on the head. There's a few where they try to make him look cute. I don't really, I don't really vibe with that. I think he would kind of look more like uh, a three foot New York City rat. Mm. Um, just kind of hulking out. You think that that's him? I think that'd be real life Mickey. Dude. Why oh. has he got so many folds? Yeah. A little wrinklage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but just like, can't you imagine like, like just real life Mickey just in a cage? They yeah, dump all I, the I don't, I don't think I like imagining it. it though. I feel like you're yeah, pushing this like, thing where you got to, you like think about this, Ted. And I'm like, I don't like how it's making me feel. Yeah, but Joe, I, mean, I don't like, know. I don't like how this makes me feel, Joe. If we take this a step further, you realize that we, we can derive from this, right? What? Is that you've spent an inordinate amount of hours thinking about a real life Mickey Mouse sniffing underwear. Yeah, no, and I actually have, um, <laughs> if you, you could, I, I have photos of what I believe the real you life Mickey Mouse. Look up, uh, look up Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse in real life. And there's a few photos where I think they really just nail it on the head. There's a few where they try to make him look cute. I don't really, I don't really vibe with that. I think he would kind of look more like uh, a three foot New York City rat, mm. um, just kind of hulking out. You think that that's him? I think that'd be real life Mickey. Dude, why oh. has he got so many folds? Yeah, a little wrinklage. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, but just like, can't you imagine like, like just real life Mickey just in a cage? They yeah, dump all I, I the don't. Underwear I don't think I like imagining it. it though. I feel like you're yeah, pushing this like, thing where you got to You like, yeah, but Joe. I, mean, I don't like, know. I don't like how this makes me feel. If we take this a step further you realize would is there would you rather in there for you tucker at all or is there, there's a, he's got Th there is yeah and tucker well, uh, would you we'll rather have to watch your parents have sex over and over again <laughs> or join in once Schlatt, i know you remember that question but tucker wasn't on the podcast at that point in time so wink wink okay boys wait what was the other answer the questions and enjoy Thank you for everything you do. Or join in once to make episodes. it stop. <laughs> uh, chocolate sandwich supreme, baby. Thank you, Coming Tristan. Coming after Joe Rogan. All right. Thank you, Tristan. Appreciate you calling in, Tristan. So what are you going to do, Tucker? Uh, dude, I, I'm kind of pissed that he gave, like, you guys really normal questions. Well, the, he's he's sort of like, it's sort of a baptizing sort of question. for you. Yeah, this is, is. We're hazing you right now. Well, I'd, I think I would rather watch. And... And because not not because I want to watch, but because my parents are divorced, so just for like the drama of it, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, just stir, so it'd be a little reality a little television bit. show. I'd be texting my stepmom, be like, "You won't believe what I'm watching right now." <laughs> <laughs> You're missing a part to it, Tucker. Though it's you have to watch them every night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What are you Wait, talking so about? Are you implying that you're a join-in guy? I'm just saying for the rest of I'm my just life, saying, like that's 365 days a year. That's every night the fucking alarm goes off and you're like, they're gonna fuck and I have to watch. You again. gotta go up there with what are you going up there with popcorn, some just binoculars fuck or something? Just fuck. Like what, what I'd be going up there with a sweet and savory, I'd be going up there with a Red Bull, I'd be like, All right, Dad, let's see what you got. See what you got. <laughs> He'd make bets on how many pumps he's got. In him. <laughs> like, oh, that was uh, faster than yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, you're having an after match little meeting after you get hold a, he holds a press conference, you're the only reporter. Yeah. You're taking notes over there. Yeah. I'm flipping through, I'm like, All right, last week you pulled that move, she didn't like it. Yeah, I, I actually, I fucking hate candy canes. I'll be totally real with you. This one's good because it's strawberry, but I'm just not a fan of like, I just need like one a lick mint. of mint. I need one lick of mint. You yeah. Know? 
I need a mint yeah. sized mint. There's a reason that they make mints in the size of mints. That's true. It yeah. is fucked. Up. I start from the top though. I like the uh, what? I like the curvature. What? I don't what? know. This I just is the don't hook? like it. You start the hook? Yeah. I break yeah. off the hook. You don't eat the hook? No, I of eat the candy. You're <laughs> sucking on that. Are you I sucking on that like a hook? I, just, I, I enjoy break, the curvature. I, I yank and break the hook, and then I have it as a no, separate piece. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. St I unwrap the top of the candy cane, and then I start at the hook. How are you sucking on it, Schlatt? Are you sucking on it like you're a fucking I put, fish I that I got caught? I put the thing in my mouth, and I run my tongue along the hook, along the curvature. <laughs> don't say you're running your tongue, dude. I don't want to ever hear you say you're running <laughs> your tongue again. I'm being honest. Can you show me? Can you show That's me? That's a comically large candy cane. <laughs> a, I can't. I can't. <laughs> what are you talking about? This, it's we, not we that haven't much invented, bigger. Charlie, slightly, we haven't invented this yet. Slightly above so average. <laughs> it's only slightly above average. It used to be a regular, you have a regular I one. I don't know what, this is the you, same yes, candy cane. Yes, you do. I've always you had. do. This is the same there's fucking a, candy cane. There's a regular I'm sorry, size I candy don't cane swim on your around desk like right you now. I'm like you in a Christmas swamp until I'm fucking snagged by a fucking hook, dude. How do you do You can fit. You can fit. Ooh. The candy cane it's in true. your mouth true. from the curvature. Charlie's from the no, no, the width, the width is too high. The width is too that's, high. A, that's bigger than Are average. Are you insane? Are you crazy? Are you doing this in public, you fucking freak? Dude, he got you there, dude. You're a freak. Charlie. <sighs> Look me in the Look eyes. In... You got it. <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited bacon? Mm-hmm. But no more games. Or games. Unlimited games. But no games. Are you okay? Did you just come? Yeah, seriously, your it looks like it was Did like a serial experience for him. I think he just came in his pants, Ted. I just nogged myself. 